What's happening here today is that True Love is celebrating 20 years of democracy as being on the cover being um, the children of the leaders of the revolution. We are invited here to celebrate with them. When we started thinking about the April issue, we were thinking like everybody else. We wanted to go and get the old struggle heroes and get them to, in, to do a, an honest interview with us. And then it was like, so-and-so doesn't talk to so-and-so, so-and-so won't be in the same space as so-and-so. And it got very difficult to find, because when the people are there together, as opposed to being stuck together, it, it, it creates a synergy. The, the pictures are a lot more intimate. So what happened, somebody said, why don't we ask the, the children? Nobody has actually asked the children what they think. And essentially, True Love gave us the platform to tell part of our stories of what it's been like in these past 20 years, what it was like growing up, you know, in the struggle, being raised in the struggle with our parents, or playing various important roles in the liberation of South Africa and in the South African democracy. The South African people were actually the biggest gift we could have had in our lives because people respected our privacy. You know, my mom raised us out of the spotlight. So when they would see me, when they would see me or they would see my name, whether it's in the shops or people, most of the time that everyone would come with a beautiful story about where they were the day that my dad died, you know, to share with me. And it's always positive stories. Sometimes I get hugs from strangers. I mean, who doesn't like a hug? I think it was a level of trust, um, trusting true love to take my intent and my words and put it on there. I didn't know it was a cover from the get-go, so I thought it was just a, a piece. But I think when I found out who else was involved, you know, I thought it was a good spectrum of the stories as well. People have to trust you with their stories. And I mean, whether um, it's people like Fresh telling us about how marriage really is, not what we think it is, or uh, people like the April cover stars who have to sort of be honest about where they come from. The only thing I say to people is that if you treat yourself with integrity, then people will respond to you in the right way. And so I wanted them to know that they will be protected, that um, we will be, honor their families and honor their stories. But yeah, it was long conversations, long, 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 please trust us, it's going to be okay. It was the way they were portraying the story that they want to talk to the children of struggle heroes 20 years later about South Africa, about it growing up. For me, the driver was just, I think it's time that I told my story. I think it's time that more people told their stories. So it was a combination of the right time and having the right editorial team behind it. For me, the most important thing, the intention for this cover was to make people understand that we're all fighting for this country that our dreams are all the same for this country. And I wanted them to also speak like ordinary people. I mean, I could definitely, we could have gotten some celebrities to take a nice, you know, <laughs> picture, and it all looks glamorous. But I only feel that I did them justice because they have told me that's how they felt. And people have been hitting me up on Twitter, which has been amazing, thank you. But saying, we love it. We love what you have done.